Hello and welcome all. In this video, we will solve the ISRO Scientist ECE 2020 question paper and it will help you in preparation of your ISRO 21 examination. It will also help in your GATE and other PSU examinations. We will discuss the detailed solution of each and every question related with the signals and system and control system. So now let us start with the question number 1. So here in question number 1, the data sequence XN is given and it is passed through an LTA system with the impulse response HN is also given we have to find the output of this filter now we can apply a trick here first of all if you have an input or output sequence so you can find the length of the output sequence and length of output sequence will be L1 plus L2 minus 1 in this case L1 is number of sequences in first signal which is XN L2 number of sequences in second sequence which is H of N so we will have output length as 9 now if you see option A and B ये दोनों तो इसका answer नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि इनकी length match नहीं करेगी और to save the time we are using this kind of approach and अगर हम यहाँ option C और D देखें तो इसका meaning ये हो गया कि out of these two option one will be correct अब approach ये रखना है आपको you can arrange the given signals X N and H N in this form and you multiply so this first row is multiplication of five with one then five with two and all the elements are obtained in this manner और इसी तरह से हमने ये सारे ऑप्टेन किए और जो ये डायगनल मार्क दाइन लाइंस हैं इन सारे एलिमेंट्स को आपको ऐड करना है। सो इफ यू सी फर्स्ट पॉइंट इस फाइव एंड लास्ट एलिमेंट इस फाइव। सो एस ए टाइम सेवर इंस्टीड ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग ऑल दी सैंपल्स यू कैन जस्ट चेक दी विच ऑफ दी ऑप्शन इज हैविंग ऑल दिस एम्पलीट्यूड एस ए फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट एलिमेंट सो ऑप्शन सी फॉर दिस सीम्स टू बी करेक्ट हाउएवर यू कैन फाइंड दी समेशन 10 प्लस 4 विल बी 14 देन 8 3 एंड 15 विल रिजल्ट इन 26 एंड सो ऑन यू विल फाइंड ऑल दिस वैल्यूज सो आई विल सजेस्ट दैट यू शुड ऑलवेज गो विद द शॉर्ट ट्रिक फर्स्ट एंड देन ए डेस्क्रिप्टिव इफ यू फाइंड देर आर टू मोर सिमिलर ऑप्शंस � and uh, V dash F represents the Fourier transform of V2 of, it should be V2 of T. What is the relation between V dash F and VF? So, here we will use the CTFT, continuous time Fourier transform ki scaling property, which says that X of T, if you have a signal, you have Fourier transform in assume X of omega, then X of AT will be having 1 by mod A, X of omega by A. So, from the given question, we can write that V of T ka. ये दिया हुआ है v of f will be the Fourier so v of twice of t का Fourier transform हो जाएगा one by a क्योंकि a की value जो है वो आपकी यहाँ पे two है और वो हम कहेंगे उसको scaling factor so answer would be a value is two so one by two v of f by two अब यहाँ आप एक जरूर बात ध्यान रखें जब भी scaling factor आपका greater than one है हम कहेंगे signal compress होगा जब a आपका less than one है हम कहेंगे signal is expanding and uh, from this property you can see that if there is an expansion in time domain there will be compression in frequency domain if there is compression in frequency there will be expansion so here a v of twice of t mein value jo ho raha hai yahan signal compress ho raha hai it means in frequency domain there will be a expansion so and amplitude is 1 by 2 so if you see option number uh, second b is the correct that magnitude is scaled by 0 0.5 that is 1 by 2 and bandwidth is expanded by the factor F1 by 2. So this will be the answer for question number 2. Next question number 3. A discrete time LTI system is given with the input Xn and output Yn. Or ye aapko ek difference equation se represent kiya gaya hai. If two such systems are connected in series, which of the following is the governing difference equation of the overall system? Ab hum maante hai ye aapko diya hua hai input or output and this is our system. Or isi equation ko aap is form mein lik sakte hai where Y of N is yn 0.1 xn is x of n plus 0.9 y of n minus 1 is y subscript n minus 1. If you have these two systems are cascaded in series, then in the z domain, we will multiply the system function in the z domain. And we can do this from the difference equation. Taking z transform on both the sides, you can find the yz upon x of z, that will be h of z, that is system function. And its value you will get 0.1 upon 1 minus 0.9z inverse. अब क्योंकि दोनों सिस्टम सेम हैं, सीरीज में कनेक्टेड हैं, so when you will multiply with this concept, it will be 0.01 divided by 1 minus 0.9 z minus 1 whole square. और इसी को हम इक्वेट करते हैं, overall input x z considering and overall output considering as y z. So ये इसका रेशियो हो जाएगा। Now cross multiply, so by cross multiplying we will have 0.01 x of z and then इसका a minus b whole square हमने यहाँ एक्सपांड किया है। and now if we take inverse z transform, so you will get 0.01 xn yn minus 1.8 y of n minus 1 plus 0.81 y of n minus 2 from the 
time shifting property which says x of n minus k or y of n minus k then it becomes z to the power minus k x of z so using this property you can write the answer and for the given question from the obtained uh, result if you see it will be y n minus 1.8 so this will be your option number first is correct for next question the asymptotic board plot of gain magnitude of a minimum phase system is given और हमसे ये पूछा गया है हमको ये फाइंड आउट करना है स्टडी स्टेट एरर फॉर द रैंप इनपुट नाउ फॉर रैंप इनपुट स्टडी स्टेट एरर ई एस एस इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम दी वेलोसिटी एरर कोफिशियंट दैट इज के वी अब इस सिस्टम को अगर आप ऑब्जर्व करें हमको ये फाइंड आउट करना होगा सिस्टम का टाइप क्या है सिस्टम का टाइप रिलेटेड विद द इनिशियल स्लोप इज गिवन बाई प्लस माइनस ट्वेंटी एन डी बी पर डिकेट so there is a negative slope and initial slope is minus 20 db it means value of n is equals to 1 so type of this system is equals to 1 ab ye first system ka type hai so steady state error ess is 1 upon kv aur uh, hum yahan se k ki value evaluate kar sakte hain by using the formula 20 log of k 20 log of k minus 20 n log of omega so omega ki value from the graph it, it is 1 over here at this point amplitude is 20 and the value of n is 1 because of this type so this term will become 0 and this is equals to your uh, given amplitude so 20 log of k is equals to 20 from here value of k is 10 and that k will become kv so ess is 1 upon k that is 0.1 so option b is correct for this question next question there are two control systems which are given by their transfer function humko ye identify karna hai ki system ki bandwidth uh, one or two mein comparison hai सो ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज वन अपॉन एस टी प्लस वन तो ये आपका फर्स्ट ऑर्डर सिस्टम है और यहाँ से अगर हम कंपेयर करें इसी सिस्टम का जो एस का मल्टीप्लायर है दैट इज योर टी सो फ्रॉम दी फर्स्ट केस सो अगर हम यहाँ से फाइंड आउट करें फर्स्ट टी वन विल बी थ्री सेकेंड्स टी टू विल बी वन एंड बेनिफिट इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू दिस टाइम सो इट विल बी इन द फर्स्ट केस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री और सेकेंड केस में सिस्टम में बेनिफिट होगी वन सो सेकेंड सिस्टम का बेनिफिट इज ग्रेटर देन बेनिफिट ऑफ द फर्स्ट सिस्टम सो ऑप्शन B is correct for this question. Next question में आपको दे रखा है जी एस एच एस ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन फॉर यूनिटी फीडबैक सो वी हैव टू कमेंट वेदर द सिस्टम इज स्टेबल और नॉट तो इस क्वेश्चन में अगर हम ऑब्जर्व करें यू कैन राइट दी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन सो दिस इज योर एच एस इज इक्व टू वन दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज योर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन सो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन वन प्लस जी एस एच एस इक्व टू जीरो से थर्ड ऑर्डर का सिस्टम हमने ऑप्टेन किया कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन एंड दिस इज योर राउत एरे सो यू कैन फ्रेम दी Raut array from the given characteristic equation, from a decreasing way you can arrange the elements in this. So s cube uh, multiplier first term is one, so it will be here first coefficient, then second coefficient, third and fourth, and this value can be obtained by cross multiplying these values divided by six. For system to be stable, this column should be having all the similar sign. So if we talk about here positive, positive. For this expression to be positive, we will keep 48 minus k divided by six greater than zero. and from here you can find k is less than 48 ab yahan isme ek important point ye hai ki from the given option only this part c is satisfying because we are saying k should be less than 48 and uh, so i will suggest that the answer of this question should be uh, none of these because there is not a, a direct uh, expressed value of uh, the gain k next question this is from uh, time domain analysis again the third peak overshoot and second undershoot of the step response of a second order underdamped system so system is underdamped input applied is unit step to agar aapka ye input applied hai this is our input aur ye aapko mil raha hai system ka output now ye time response behave behavior hoga system ka jahan pe ye is line se above jo bhi peaks hain those are called as a overshoot and below this are known as the undershoots so this is your first overshoot this is your first undershoot this is your second overshoot and so on now question asked is about the peak overshoot and second undershoot so this is general formula for finding the maximum peak where n can vary accordingly if n is odd number we are having a overshoot for n even number we are having undershoot so humko kya find out karna hai third peak overshoot for third peak overshoot the value of n should be 5 to ye aapko yahan pe third peak overshoot milega so you will put n equals to 5 over here and uh, next is second undershoot second undershoot is for n equals to 4 so you will put here 4 so whichever option having these two expressions so you can see from here option d is correct because you are having 5 and 4 so this is the expression uh, sometime it is also written as a damping ratio so you can 
change the accordingly the given options. Next for question, the Nyquist plot of a second order under damped system is given and we have to find the resonant frequency. So, if we plot the frequency response plot in any uh, system, ka, so you get the at natural frequency at this point you get the maximum uh, resonance peak. So, to find the answer for this you have to just check whether the you are having this amplitude as a highest. So, wherever you find this vector as a highest length that frequency will be your resonant frequency. So, for this given question option 2 which is omega 2 will be the correct answer. In the next question the unit step response of system with the transfer function is given and uh, we have to find the output. So, step response ke liye input aapke paas ho gaya unit step jiska Laplace transform ho 1 by s and you can multiply it with the transfer function because the from the convolution property if you know the input of Laplace of input along with the Laplace of this uh, system which is known as transfer function output is multiplication of individual xs and h of s here it is g of s. So, we multiply them and uh, we take the partial friction expansion using this expression value of a find agar aapko karna hai to ye term humne yaha se eliminate kiya remaining term will be 1 minus s upon 1 plus s for putting s equals to 0 you will get the first coefficient for second coefficient similarly we will eliminate this part and we will keep s equals to minus 1 so that at that point this value is 0 so this will result in minus 2. Ab hum yaha ye values rakh rahe aur uh, uh, the Laplace transform of u t is given by 1 by s Laplace of e to the power minus a t u of t is 1 over s plus a. So, you can directly use these expressions then you can find the answer of this question is option a. In the next question the system is given that is to be compensated such that its gain crossover frequency becomes same as its uncompensated phase crossover frequency. Which of the following is the phase crossover frequency? So, we have to determine the phase crossover frequency. Now, for this given system it is in the standard form which is s you can write it uh, as a 1 plus s t 1 you can write it as t 1 plus 1 then this is s t 2 plus 1. So, yaha se agar hum obtain karte hai omega g c gain crossover that direct formula aapko yaad rakhna hai it is 1 upon under root t 1 plus t 2 in this kind of transfer function and value of t 1 and t 2 you can obtain by comparing coefficient of s is 1 here coefficient of s will be 1 by 16. So, you will get the value of 4 radian per second. However, from the given data you cannot obtain the phase crossover frequency because there is no detail of the compensating block suppose this is our gs and we are connecting this block as a compensator so no information is given so you cannot determine using the given data so this will be the answer for this question in this next question we have to find the total number of feedback loops of the signal flow graph so uh, this is from sfg and there are two kinds of loop which are known as the uh, loop uh, individual loop and another is self loop so both falls in the category of feedback loops so, agar aap yaha observe kare closely, I have marked here, this is your first loop, then this 9, 10 will become second, this 13 is a third loop, this 6, 7 is fourth loop and this entire part 4, 5 and 7, this becomes your loop number 5. So, option number C is correct for this question. In this last question, which is from the Nyquist plot, we have to find the number of open loop poles on the right hand side of S plane. Now, this concept is used of Nyquist to find the stability. So, from the Cauchy's theorem the n is equals to p minus z and uh, for system to be stable it has to be uh, z is equals to 0 in that case n is equals to p which is a number of encirclement and uh, agar hum ye point hum maan lai ki ye aapka minus 1 comma 0 point hai. So, the encirclements can be obtained by drawing one cross sectional line to the path or is line ko jitni bar aapka path cut karega that value will be of n and considering anti clockwise direction as a positive. So, if you observe there is a anti clockwise direction this is going on and one time cutting this line. So, value of n is equals to 1. So, the number of pole that is equals to 1. So, answer will be option A.